Hi everyone, today I want to share with you some, some thoughts I've been having about nostalgia. Uh, because the more I, I thought about my thoughts looking back to the past and what I miss, and don't get me wrong, I've got some fantastic memories, but the more I, I thought about the past and, and what I want to get back to, the more I had this sense and this feeling that it, was, that it wasn't quite right, it was almost wrong to do this. And I want to share my thoughts with you about this because I think there is a danger that comes with being too nostalgic. Um, Solomon actually gives us a warning in his word, in his letters in Ecclesiastes 7.10, he writes, Say not, why were the former days better than these? For it is not from wisdom that you ask this. That's an interesting point that Solomon makes. Um, the dictionary term for nostalgia is mixed feelings of happiness, sadness and longing when recalling a person, a place or event from the past or the past in general. But the more I thought about the past, the more I focused on it and my longing to get back there, where I thought I needed to be, this is actually a dangerous place to be. Because in my thinking, I was thinking that at that point, in that moment, my eyes are taken away from God. At, at, at that point, my, my trust is not in God. My trust at that point is in what I know and not what God knows. So I came, I came to this conclusion you know, as I'm looking back to the good old days and wishing for, for days like that, I am not being faithful to God. I'm not seeking after God to do something even better, even greater in the future. You know, we may have to go through a period of pruning, or of change, or we may have to go through the desert of hardship and pain. But God never wants his people to go back. He only wants them to go forward. Like when God's people are standing at the edge of the Red Sea in Exodus 14, and the Lord says to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. You see, it's not wrong to remember. God is always telling his people to remember. But the danger with being nostalgic, with, with reminiscing too much, is that we get stuck in the past and don't trust God or look to God to make a better future for his people. Charles uh, Bridges said this, We must leave God's work to him and let us attend to our own work which is not so much as change the world but to change ourselves. It really is a trying time for some and some more than others but God's providence has us here right now. And we must together, as the body of Christ, as James says, draw near to God that he will draw near to us. We must remember the goodness and faithfulness of God. And then join together, united with one accord, to seek God's will for our future as part of his church here in Worthing. Understanding that 
We cannot go back. As another pastor was saying the other day to me, we've changed and the people around us have changed and the needs of the people around us have changed. They will never be the same again. So let us prepare to go forward with our Lord and Saviour and proclaim the glorious gospel of our salvation and his triumph over sin and death. God bless. Bye-bye.